Um, hi. This is something I usually don't talk about on YouTube or just in general, but it's been bothering me for a while, so might as well just let it out. Um, well, all of us. Um, no matter who we are, whether if, no matter who we are, no matter how we're labeled as, whether if we're just, so as people, celebrities, business people, presidents, no matter who we are, um, we all at one point have experienced being poor or been traumatized or been sick or whatever. A few of us probably not, but I believe, you probably believe that all of us, no matter who we are, we all have experienced maybe probably just for a day, or a week, or for a long time, we all experience being bullied. But the question is, was there a time or a moment of bullying that has been the most traumatizing? Or like the most unforgettable? Basically, that's the same thing. That's the same thing. Well, whether if those who know me believe this or not, that's if you knew me during my childhood, not my adulthood, but my childhood, like close to my teen years. I was so active at school, like very activities active well I didn't just do that to be social well believe me I loved being social I loved it I loved being so social when I was a kid I loved doing basically everything I like I think the main reason I tried to do everything when I was a kid like trying to do music um <coughs> seriously um i try i participated in band clubs um like gym clubs um i attempted spelling bee um i attempted these little clubs that kids that kids uh, made up and even some other ones that <laughs> well try to I tried to spell me I did safety patrol I did a lot um basically the reason main reason besides being social with everyone and for fun I was basic I was like preparing myself for my future. My mom back then described me as like Irene, like I was like, um, the way she described me and my twin, she said I was the one who would plan my future like 10 years ahead. That was so true. Um, the way I was planning my future, if I was preparing to put myself in the history books, that's what exactly what I was doing. Um, yeah, I was planning to put myself in the history books. I. Yeah, I basically started um, 
participating in activities as young as I think the youngest I can remember is um second or third. <coughs> and that's probably the youngest I can remember being bullied as well. And the last activity I last being most active was six or seven. Well, being the least active, actually. <coughs> Before entering middle school, my full active plan was to actually participate as many sports as possible. My main um, target for the um, sports activities from middle school was basketball and soccer and if baseball was an option and um, and possibly music again um that was gonna be the option except I wanted to do violin Unfortunately, that didn't turn out well with the violin because nobody wouldn't teach me violin. So when I got to middle school, that's when everything turned upside down. Because that's when the seizures started happening. And, well, I tried to participate in everything. And then I got this phrase, no, like, I wasn't allowed to do anything. I couldn't even do gym, so. And then I saw this opportunity to do a play. And, well, this is when I can answer that question of what could be, you know, that I asked earlier. Um, now this I can answer the question, um, um, what was it? I think it's, what could be the most traumatizing bullying moment? Yeah. Now I can answer that question of what mine could be the most traumatizing. Well, at this point, like seventh grade, which I think it was around the time I was diagnosed with seizures and they were extremely active. That was like when word got around that something was like weird about me. Like 7th, 8th. <coughs> like it basically got all around the school especially like the six, sixth graders because the fact that I couldn't do gym so they made me like stick with the music and art subject which is for the sixth graders so due to that fact I was stuck with them throughout the three years straight which was three years of bowling with the sixth graders yeah those they had their little pranks with the um little gum zappers <laughs> um they're like zappers i don't know how to describe them well and humiliation of the first aid who was extremely nasty and like to keep me isolated well although that wasn't the f that's not the answer to the question though of what's the most traumatizing bullying moment of out of the most out of all the bullying moments mm. or the most memorable memo unforgettable one 
the most unforgettable one that's haunted me for years is the is when I wanted to participate in the Alice in Wonderland play. Well, because of my seizures, with my my you know other aide who replaced it in the nasty one, I was allowed to come to lunch like five minutes earlier than everyone else, along with a few friends I was allowed to invite to come five minutes early. I saw I saw some people set up the Alice in Wonder play, Wonderland play on the on like the stadium in the lunchroom and I wanted to go see if they had like last minute like roles. <sighs> It was the most traumatizing moment. And please don't get offended, people. I'm about to say a word that is... That's... That's known to be extremely hurtful to many people. Including myself. When I was about to, these teenagers approached me. And I, uh, I asked about the play. And they said, I'm guessing they heard about me being not normal. They said, we don't need a, u a useless worthless retard like you. Um, at first, I didn't know what the word retard was. Especially the fact that my age yelled at them for it. I didn't know what it was, but even though their insult towards me hurt me and traumatized me for years, because after the insult, I didn't want nothing to do with any theoretical related um, activities or music activities. Let's just say, afterwards, I didn't want anything activity related since I probably did one activity related, the 4-H club, but after that, I basically pushed myself away. When I went to Spring Run School, um, when I chose to go back to school for my high school years, um, I chose to go back to doing activities, but, however, that's when I finally figured out what that word meant, because there were signs that forbid the word retard from being used but when I realized what it meant that just made that that moment of that insult being used to me used to, towards me even more hurtful and more traumatizing for me so yeah basically if that insult was never used towards me. I would have probably been on here earlier. And I need. Let's just say, yeah, that was po that's probably the. M <sighs> Let's just say this moment of bullying and insult. It's not only the answer to what's the most traumatizing bullying moment in my life, but it's also the answer to why that the word retard is hurtful to pe to people, because it crushes you. It crushes you so much. Like. 
I hear my twin say it all the time, and I get offended by it. Like, like she says it's she's old school, and that's why she says it. She says is it, but the problem is she's never heard. She's never heard that word be said in a bad way before. That's the thing. Like. That's the thing, like, there are some words, right, that, that are just said in a joking way, but not everybody is either heard that word or said that word towards them in a funny way. They get told that word in a mean way, like I was. And I'm pretty sure some of you were told in that mean way, too. <clears throat> So basically, every time, even though it's been a while since that insult has bothered me a lot lately, it's been bothering me so much. It's been bothering me so much now. It's basically the most traumatizing There has been another traumatizing bully moment, but this is more traumatizing because it was at a time that it just pushed me away from doing something that I love, that I wanted to do. Especially the fact that I knew what I wanted to do in my life. Like seriously, you can believe me if you want that since I was a little kid, I, I, I was like, like training myself to, you know, put myself in like the history books and like fulfilling my dreams and stuff. But... You can believe me in that if you or not, but believe me when I said that someone insulted me in that way, because, yeah, everybody has that experience when they're bullied. And I believe you if you have been, you know, bullied or have been, you know, called that or not. I don't know, this might be a, a totally waste of time of a video for you guys, but, you know, this is just something that's been on my mind, it's been bothering me, it's been interfering with a lot of things, it's just something that I had to get off of my mind, that's if it'll ever get off of my mind, but probably for net you know at the moment since um talking about it um thanks for listening hope you guys have a good day bye